Now at 9, community members are still mourning the death of two-year-old Navia Allen. Earlier tonight, neighbors paid their respects with a balloon release and candlelight vigil. It was the first of its kind for a series that are taking place this weekend. Our Anam Siddiqui was there and has the details. This memorial sits outside of the apartment complex where little Nevaeh lived. Neighbors holding a balloon release, honoring her life. Police say two-year-old Nevaeh Allen's life was tragically taken by her mother and her mother's boyfriend. If you don't want your baby, give it to somebody. Kim Crockett is a grandmother. She lives in the neighborhood. She says you don't have to know Nevea to feel the sadness. It hated me. I couldn't even sleep good because it, it hurt in my heart. You know what I'm saying? And I was just crying for the baby and the family. Dozens in the community saying their last words and prayers for the baby girl. We need Jesus in every situation of our lives. She could have gave the baby to me. I would have yes. taken Sharon Kinchin says a loss like this affects both the adults and the children in the community. Yes. The father used to play yes. with her. And they still really don't under, understand what's going on because they still babies themselves. Hard on the family. It's hard on everybody. Everybody, everybody does have a home. Everybody. There will be multiple vigils held for Nevaeh this weekend across the Baton Rouge area. You can find that information up on our website, beareproud.com. Reporting in Baton Rouge, Anam Siddiqui, Fox 44 News.